Alrighty. Wheels look nice, eh? I love the wheels. Jolene came up and cleaned them up last night. Um, she was excited that Excelsior would be the manufacturer for a race car tire of that era. You know, this is in the 30s, and that tire uh, come off a 34 Oldsmobile. Uh, anyways, as we get rocking and rolling here, as you can see, the fender skirt is not, there's no fender skirt there, it's all just one, um, and I'm going to tell you why, and the only reason I'm telling you why, because some people, there's a lot of questions asked, how are you going to get the tire off, how are you going to get the tire off, and if then people miss the video, um, this is what I've done on the other side, so what I'm going to do today is cut this fender skirt off, these are the tools that I'm going to use, and we'll just go over to the other side and I'll show you exactly what I did. If there is a video on this side too, you can watch that one. You know, but the only thing I do, what I'm doing is, is telling whoever's never watched or seen or whatever, we're going over it again, uh, a little bit of a repeat. It's called commercial break, and then you come back and I explain it one more time, <laughs> something like that. Uh, what happens is on the edge, or on the edge of the fenders of the whole car, I've taken a welded round rod. I've made that shape and welded round rod to the edge of the fender because I like the, the round rod better. It's not empty like an envelope. I can come in on the top part and seam seal, then the water can run off. If ever, it, that's what I'm thinking in my brain. This, probably, this car probably will never run through water. I'm hoping, but that's what I'm thinking in my brain. As I did that round rod around the edge of the whole car, that gave me the opportunity to make another piece of round rod and weld it to this round rod to get the shape of the fender skirt. Jolene decided uh, a couple weeks ago that she wanted fender skirts on it, and that's what we did. And I'm glad that she made that choice because it makes the car look so much more. Um, so what I've done is weld the ramrod to that ramrod. We sheathed it, she welded it on. She did not warm it, she did a beautiful job. We made brackets for the inside, it bolts on the inside, it has a pin up top. What I've done is I've went underneath the car, I've made it all one, and then I used the tools on the other side, the grinder and the saw, and I cut that open and then pulled it off. I clean, as you can understand, as you see the other side, the mud goes right over top, there's no line. So that means there's a whole bunch of mud in between the fender skirt and the fender. So when you, if you watch this video here, as you've seen a fairly good chunk come flying out of that. That was funny when I watched it. It wasn't at the time. Uh, when I ground off the mud that was on the, on the round rod coming around the fender, I did not have much to fix at all. I just had a little, little tiny chippy poo right there and that was it. Uh, and that was good because I just clean, I had to clean the mud off each, each side of the round bar. So there was round bar on the fender skirt, there's round bar on the fender. As If you can picture it, when I first made them, if you've never seen that part, when the gap was this much, because that's how I made them fit. So, and that's how I know how to grind them off when I grind the, the, the fill off the edge. I had them fitting before, so I just grind it down to the round bar where it was before. Uh, I think somebody said they wanted to see how I fixed the chip. Well, what I did there, uh, I took a die grinder, and I just made sure that it was clean there on the metal where it chipped off the edge. Uh, just what I just put a little fiberglass on it and rubbed it off. But if you had something like that where you wanted to get that edge and you had to keep filming and keep filming it, I've been there before where you have something on the edge, there's not much there, so I just went, Psh, it was done. Went like that, it was over. But if you had something like that there that you wanted to put some mud on the edge and you couldn't, it wouldn't stay there for you, kept running off or doing whatever, um, I would run some tape along the bottom of that and then I would come in and fill that wherever like you had a big problem there and then when it dries you could pull the, the tape would hold your filler on that flat part of your surface but where it was that little tiny bit I just went flick flick like that and it was over and another thing you can see that primer right there did I didn't bust through that whatsoever to get that glass off that top of that primer not whatsoever that that, that there uh, surface is really nice to fill over top of um, here, as we get going, I'm going to cut this off. What I'm hoping for is no chippies. I do not, yeah, I do not like doing this job. I do not like doing this job. But the reason I'm, I do it this way 
is because I want to do it the quickest way, and this is the quickest way in my brain. Please, please comment and share if you have something that is quicker than what I'm doing. Please. <laughs> you know, and if you share and if you want to explain it, please, please think it over before you send it. <laughs> you know, you think it over yourself before you send the idea. Makes sense, does it not? You have to make sure you have to make sure it will work uh, before you send it. I don't know, it's just looking for a little mask or I'm gonna go in the earbud for sure. We'll see what happens. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go underneath the, with the grinder there. There's washers underneath there. I've welded in between the round rod. I'm gonna try to zip them off first. I'm gonna try each of those tools and let's let's do it. It's not the funnest thing, but... Do you want one of those small masks? Do you got one right here? Mm -hmm. We had a flat mask here. I know where there's one. On that baby. Oh, yeah. Um... I'll go get it. No worries. No worries. No sense to be running around looking for something right there. Can you tie that on? I can't remember. Safety glasses for any time you're rocking and rolling. You haven't had a better time safety glasses forever, have you? <clears throat> yeah, so here we go. I got a mask off the little statue in there. These are statues. I don't think I can get this to work. It's broke on that side. Piece of tape. I'll get a piece of tape, fix it. Just hold on. You hey. Just gonna put a mask on. Didn't think about that before I started it. Thought I might find one quickly, but. And if it falls off, it falls off. I, I cut the first one off without a mask on, so I can do the second one. I'm right, just thinking. Nope, we're not worried about it. Not worried about it. Nova Scotia's doing so well with the, you know, so well. And you know what it has to do with it? It has the, to do with it is the people that in Nova Scotia <laughs> do as they're asked, generally, you know what I mean? We just do as we're asked, you know? It's a good thing when, when you can, you know, have a bunch of people do as you ask. <clears throat> I'm all geared up like I've never been geared up before, baby. I don't know if I need the headphones or not. We're going under.
I'm gonna try this thing for a second. I'm gonna try this for a second. See what happens. See, I, see, like that looks like a little pucker there. That's okay because there's a lot of there's a filler there where that washer is well on, and there's a bunch of filler that's got to come out of there. So, you get choked up, are you, sweetie? Huh? Fina don't even like it. Fina. See what happens here. I'm gonna try to solve I like to guess. Don't get me wrong, but guessing sometimes, guessing too many times is to catch up to you. I'll keep going and get the most I can with the grinder because it's working, it's doing its job. It's doing its job. <coughs> Say that don't look good, wouldn't you? Something happened? Yeah. Okay, good. That don't look good! <laughs> you hollered with me, would you? Yeah.
place where I'm having a little bit of issue, obviously there's a washer or the, or the clip or the bolt is there. That's where I'm having the issue, you know, there's no issue, but let's face it, there is things in the way. <laughs> Quite a gap there, that's gotta come off both sides. I'm okay. I'm okay. Me and Jolene are on the road here in a little bit. We're gonna go find her. We're gonna go check out something we found on Marketplace and uh. See if it's worth our time and effort. And that's where that decision making comes in, you know? Whether you make good decisions or not, you know? That's buying something, selling something, whether you make a good decision or not. We make a lot of decisions, don't we, baby? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's going good. Uh, just gotta get it cut off a little bit further. All the bolts are out. I took them out before, so it's just pinned at the top. So, you know, when it, once it's cut, it could fall out quite easily. Everything's staying in place, you know, as it should, or as I want it to. <clears throat> I gotta put the blame this way around, didn't I? does see I put right narrow there if you let it slow down and, and chew itself it works fine but as soon as you start pushing it you start jamming it you start jamming itself in there that's what I'm going to do Yeah, baby. Yeah, she's 
step to come off. Hey! <laughs> Put my hand on it. <laughs> well, that just pinned there. I can see that. Here we have to take a screwdriver, put it in between. It's so easy. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go easy. It's got a little few places that's hanging on, it looks like. I just want it to break instead of fall off. in between that I'm trying to cut off. All that mud has to go, eh? That's not bad. Not bad. It looks good. Very happy with it. Mm -hmm. Very happy. Ah. There you go. I'm not trying to do anything to it right now. I'm not trying to do anything to it right now. Let's put that up here. I'll come in and scrape all the mud off the top of that. Scrape the mud off of this. We'll get them washes. There's still a couple washes hanging on there. And you can see where it's puckered, the washer's way up to there. So we're fine. Now I've got the fender screwed off. Like I said before, now I'll take this wheel. And I'll clean it all off to the round rod again. I'll clean that edge all off to the round rod again. Because I know it fit because I welded the round rod there. And then we'll put them back on and then we'll have something like the other side. That didn't go too bad. Um, it went just as good as the other side. Because so both sides were good, just because I had a little chip doesn't mean anything. Doesn't mean a damn thing. But that went well. Uh, what can I say? I'm very happy with the tires. I'm very happy with the tires. 
Uh, we got a little sign over here we're doing too. We're not we're listen, we do. I like projects. That's why we picked up the motorcycles. We like projects. Uh, we got this from Archie Costner when we went and picked the 36 Ford. We're just getting to it now. But when I picked that, I knew that we were gonna do something with it. We will make a Hilt's Auto Co sign. You know, just things that we do. One thing I've learned, this is what I'm learning. Uh, good news, keep building. Bad news, keep building. No news, keep building. 